All right, more B6 content. So I haven't really been posting any new videos on the B7 R4, but I actually do have some on the way, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, I want to swap out the front bumper on the B6 R4, but I was a little bit hesitant because I kind of feel like it's a little bit of an up badging or like a posing, but actually at the same time don't because these are actually S4 bumpers. I actually got a really good deal on the front bumper and the rear bumper with fog or with the grills. And I've been a little bit hesitant to put them on because of, like I said, there's a little bit like an up badging and posing as an S4. Oh yeah, by the way, these are S4 front bumper and, and rear bumper. But yeah, so I feel like it, it's kind of like that, but at the same time don't because I don't have any of those badges up. Anyways, as we know, the standard B6A4 front bumper and lip isn't all that great and yes i know there are other options including the usp front or lower lip uh any other random bumpers like the fort the sport tech but like i said i got these for a really good deal and also this is the same color as the current color of the b6a4 which is more blue and i also wanted to wait for a little bit because there are some cosmetic imperfections on both the front and the rear bumper, but at the same time, I was like, the car itself already has cosmetic imperfections. So I was like, whatever, I'll just throw them on. So yes, I would like to put on the front bumper on the B6A4, and I really like how this looked much more than, you know, the standard front bumper, just because of the largeness of the lower side grills. Anyways, um... Let's get this grill, or let's get this front bumper installed. We're gonna pull the B6A4 into the garage and get this guy installed. Alright guys, so before I get this video started, it would be great if you can help support my channel by clicking that red subscribe button. You, YouTube is telling me that most of my viewers aren't subscribed and all it takes is a simple click on that red subscribe button to stay updated on the videos I post. Thanks guys. Alright guys, so let's get this standard A4 front bumper off and the S4 front bumper on. Um, it's actually pretty simple to do. All there is to do is remove about I would think, let's see, about 10 bolts and nuts from the front bumper and some connectors and a hose for the uh, headlight washers and then the front bumper should be able to come off. But to be able to get to some uh, of the bolts, or not the bolts, the nuts, especially the ones on the three side here, I'm going to remove the headlights for easier access. Let me go ahead and remove the two headlights first and then show you the three uh, 10 millimeter nuts that holds this portion of the uh, bumper onto the fender. Okay, so to remove the headlights are just four simple bolts and a wiring harness and the headlights will come out. So you have two top ones here. All of them are T30. These two you need to remove completely. Then you have one right straight down there and another one like right under straight down here. Also a T30 and all and those back, those two, all you need to do is uh, unscrew it uh, ever so slightly so that the headlight can just slide out. So let me go ahead and get both sides of these headlights out and like I said show you the um, nuts that hold that portion of the bumper in. So since the headlights are out now let me show you all of the bolts and nuts that are needed to be removed to be able to remove the front bumper. So you should have one holding this fender liner onto the lower portion of the bumper or the lip then the, the the three that i was telling you about that you need to get access to with the headlights off are right there one two and three and then you have one uh let me see if i can show you so you gotta remove the grill first it's actually like right up here that holds the bumper into it up here and the exact same for this side so you have the three down here if you guys can see that one in here and the one back here with the fender liner. 
So after you remove all that, the front bumper should be able to come off. And of course, you got just some connectors right here and the little holes for the uh, windshield or the headlight washer. So let me go ahead and remove all that and then show you how the bumper comes off after I remove all of those bolts and screws. Okay, so all bolts and nuts are off. Now the front bumper should be able to come up. The front bumper should be able to pull out, but the first thing you need to do is pull the sides of the low gear out of the fender first on both sides and then slowly just start pulling it out. So let me go ahead and pull off that front bumper. All right, so the front bumper is off, guys. So here are the connectors that you need to disconnect. One here, here, and also the, uh, like I said, the headlight washer um, hose. I just capped it off with a little rubber plug and I'm actually planning not to plug it all back in and not, you know, have these washer installed up here. So it's just going to stay capped off and you're going to need to take a couple of parts off of this, this standard bumper and throw it onto the S4 bumper. For example, the fog lights, the tow hitch front cover and the only one side of the headlight washer cap off and put it onto the S4 bumper and an S4 bumper should be able to be installed. So let me go ahead and take off everything I need off first, install it onto the S4 bumper, and then get that S4 bumper installed onto the B6 A4. Damn, I thought A4 fog lights would fit the S4 bumper, but it actually does not fit. Look at the alignment on the uh, mounting points. So off. I guess I'm not going to be running any fog lights until I get some fog lights. S4, B6 S4 specific fog lights so just gonna install them without fog lights damn guys even the front tow hook cover is not even the same from the A4 to the S4 I just kind of popped it in there real quick to cover up that hole but I guess I'm gonna get another need to get another um, front tow hook cover too and also of course freaking while I was installing the uh, Washer covers, I actually accidentally broke it into pieces. So now I'm going to need to get a whole bunch of stuff for this front bumper. I should have done my own research before. <laughs> before I decided to install this front bumper, um, it's still going to go on the way it is. All right, bumper is on. Oh, lighting is bad, but it's not secured. But I still need to bolt it down. Anyways, let me go ahead and finish bolting it down. And then show you what it looks like with almost everything back together other than the pieces that did not and was not able to transfer over from the A4 front bumper. Alright, front bumper is secured and here is what it looks like now, temporary, until I'm able to get some fog lights and some uh, headlight washer grills. Dang, the freaking lighting is so bad. Anyways, it looks much more aggressive, much more be better with that bigger, uh, lower uh, grills. And I'm actually quite happy that when I bought these um, bumpers, it came with the grills because the grills are starting to become harder to come by and starting to get more expensive. But yeah, that, that looks that's what it looks like for now until I find some fog lights and some uh headlight washer covers and then i'll show you guys what it looks like after much better all right guys a couple weeks later and i was i was finally able to find some fog lights for the b6s4 front bumper crazy how much these can get and crazy how hard um these fog lights are to find anyways got those installed installation is pretty easy Basically the same thing as the video that I made on the light bulb replacement and on my B6 SR8 B6 A4 front bumper. It's just two uh, little star screws here and the plug. But unfortunately, I'm not able to find the uh, headlight washer caps here, and it's crazy how much how hard those are to find. But anyways. I think that's going to end the video here, guys. Just want to say thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to help support my channel. Comment any sort of feedback to help my channel go. Or comment any questions you might have for the installation of a bumper. And uh, don't forget this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. Thanks, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.